I was on Amazon earlier this week just buying the normal stuff like toothpaste and toenail clippers and you know normal stuff but it recommended something to me that it hasn't recommended before. Amazon recommended I buy hardwood from them and I thought that was kind of nuts but you know what I did? I bought some. That's right, I bought lumber off of Amazon. And the box just showed up today and I am really anxious to open up and see it because ordering lumber off the internet is kind of a uh, crapshoot. You never know what you're gonna get. Or as Forrest Gump would say, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And here is the box from Amazon. Inside this box is supposed to be 18 boards of two inch by 18 inch, three quarter inch hardwood, six walnut, six maple, and six cherry. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'd be dishonest if I didn't say I was a little nervous opening this box to see what's inside this. But here we go. Ooh, looks like maple on top here. This over here. Some very, very clear looking maple. It's very nice. All right, so how many boards is that? That is six boards of maple. And then it looks like we've got walnut. Very clear looking walnut. Well, oh, there's a couple more pieces in there. Oh, cherry, here comes the cherry. It looks pretty good. Let's pull this out. There's the six boards of walnut. And then here's four more boards of cherry. It looks like there's little burn marks on the cherry. Now I should say this is also supposed to be S4S. It looks pretty flat. Uh, some of the boards have got a little bit of a bow in them. But initial thoughts, these are pretty, pretty clear. Some cherry, that's a little bit of wild grain. Cherry, 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 cherry. Hmm, that one board is pretty wonky in there. Let's see what the walnut looks like. Not bad. That board's a little funky. Not bad on that side. Pretty clear looking walnut. Let's see what the maple looks like. Pretty clear. Oh, uh, you got one board, maybe two that don't look too straight. Hmm. Okay. First impressions, really clean lumber. Let's see how square it is. Now I've got my double square here and I'm just gonna check real fast to see just how square this stuff is. Looks pretty square. The walnut looks great so far. That's pretty good. All four faces, nice. Let's check these maple pieces now. Some of these look like they might not be so straight. That is square to that face. That is square. All right. This one looks to be a little bit iffy. So this looks square. Looks square, but I think that one's got a little bit of a twist in it. Yeah, I can see a visible spot where it is not dead 90, but close. And now we'll check this cherry here. This looks pretty good. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this lumber for coming in a box, sight unseen. 
So what am I gonna do with this stuff? I have got cherry, maple, and walnut. And the Amazon listing suggests that this is ready to go for a cutting board. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just make an edge grain cutting board with alternating cherry, maple, and walnut so it looks pretty nice. But is this cost efficient? I don't know yet. I haven't done the math. So while I'm gluing all this up and getting it nice and pretty, I'm gonna break it down and see if it's cost efficient to buy S4S lumber on Amazon or should I go down to the mill and mill it all myself with a joiner and planer? But I have a joiner and planer. You may not have a joiner and planer. This may actually be more cost efficient for you if you don't have those tools. So let me get this all glued up and prettied up and we'll figure out the math. While I glue this cutting board up, let's first talk about board feet. Board footage is calculated by multiplying the width in inches by length in inches by thickness in inches divided by 144. So to calculate the board feet in this box from Amazon, you get two times 288 times 0.75 divided by 144 equals three. So in this box, there are three board foot of hardwood for which I paid $35.83. Shipping was free. That breaks down to being $11.94 a board foot. S4S Walnut at my local lumber mill is currently running $15 a board foot. S4S Cherry is $12 a board foot and Maple is $10 a board foot. If I were to buy S4S lumber from my mill in the exact same amount that comes in this box from Amazon, I'd be looking at paying $37. That's just over a dollar more than the Amazon listing. So right there, I'm almost saving $2. Let's switch gears and talk about rough sawn lumber. In my area, walnut is currently $12 a board foot, cherry is $8 a board foot, and maple is $6 a board foot. To match the amount of lumber in this Amazon box, it would cost $26 to get three board foot of four quarter rough sawn lumber. I would be saving $11 on the front end, but I would then have to run everything through my joiner and planer to get them down to three quarter inch material ready to be glued up. Is $11 worth the time, effort, wear and tear on my machines to get the rough sawn lumber down to my desired thickness for my cutting board? Well, I guess you would have to make that decision. But let's get back to the DIY Amazon cutting board. And with just a couple hours of work, here is our finished cutting board. Looks really nice, it turned out really pretty. So is it worth it to buy Amazon lumber or not? Well, it may be for you, but I think I'm gonna stick with buying rough sawn lumber and picking out what I want, because just like Forrest said, you never know what you're gonna get. I just really love going to my local lumber yard and picking out the lumber I'm gonna be using for my upcoming projects and knowing what I'm gonna be working with is something that I just can't give up. So Amazon probably isn't gonna get another order from me for lumber, but it might be a good option for you, especially if you don't have a joiner or planer. It did save me a ton of time not having to run all of this material through my planer and joiner to get everything squared up, but there's something a little therapeutic about milling and I enjoy it. Maybe I'm weird, I don't know. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you sticking around. And if you haven't subbed already, would you go down there and hit that subscribe button and then turn on the bell for notifications. And I will leave you with some beauty shots of this finished cutting board. See you guys in the next one.